Hey, this is Robert Cheese. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about ratcheting belts. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a general review of ratcheting belts and also include a how-to on how to cut them down to size and also how to get them off once you've started wearing them. So I kind of first discovered ratcheting belts about five years ago. I think that this is the first ratcheting belt I ever bought. So after five years, this is sort of how it's aged. Um, some of the color uh, on the buckle has come off. But aside from that, it works perfectly just the way it used to. So the beauty of ratcheting belts is that instead of having holes like a traditional belt, something like this, um, there's, a, there's a bunch of teeth on the inside and obviously a ratcheting mechanism. So it allows you to really fine tune the tightness. Um, I've accumulated quite a few of these ratcheting belts over the last few years. Generally, they're all the same except the buckle style and obviously the color of the belt itself. Um, normally, uh, or most of my belts, these teeth are about 3 sixteenths of an inch apart, or about five millimeters. And when you compare it to a traditional belt, um, where the holes are approximately an inch, or 25 millimeters apart, um, you can see that you get a lot uh, more fine adjustment with a ratcheting belt. Um, that's really useful when, you know, maybe you eat a big meal or you something happens where you all of a sudden have to tuck in your shirt um, and you want to just adjust it a small amount instead of changing it by an entire inch as you would with a traditional belt. So um, the next thing is sort of the how-to. Um, to release one of these belts, there's a little latch on the bottom and you just have to flip it up and then that releases and then you can adjust uh, or release the belt. To tighten it, all you have to do is tighten on the belt itself. Just make sure the first time you've used or you try to use one of these belts, you know how to release it. Um, the very first time I got this belt, I wasn't quite sure how to release it and it gave me a little bit of a scare. So the next thing is cutting them down to size. So most of these belts come very long. And so you really need to cut them down to your size. So this is a new belt that I've got. I've never used it before, but I'm just going to kind of show you how big some of them are. So this is <laughs> how big it is on me. And the ratcheting section only goes down to here. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't use this the way it is. So to cut it down to size, um, all you got to do is open it up. So there's always a little uh, bar like this, and you probably can just use your fingernail to open it. Um, alternatively, you can use a little screwdriver or something. So we can just pop this open, and you can kind of see how it works. This little door bites into the leather on the belt and holds it together. So you're going to just want to cut it down to size. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to kind of ballpark it, and I'm going to cut it right here. So the key is you want to cut this fairly straight. It's not really critical if it's not perfectly straight, but the straighter the better. So once you've done that, you can just insert it back into the buckle. And it just goes in like this. And then you can uh, push this in. So now it's very secure. It's not going to come out. And we can see how this looks. So this is pretty much right for me. Um, I probably could trim a little bit more off, but I don't really need to. And this belt is probably a little bit better of color, so you can kind of see how the uh, teeth are. Generally, these are about seven or eight inches. Um, so you have quite a bit of leeway once you cut it. This one's actually a little bit over eight. It's about eight and a half inches of track. Um, some of mine are only about seven inches of track. So anyways, overall, um, I love this style of belt. It's definitely worth considering if you need a new belt. And when you buy these online, uh, generally they're much cheaper than any traditional belt that you'd buy in a store. Um, so definitely take a look. I'll include some links below, but in my experience, they're all relatively the same. It's really just a matter of what buckle you want and what color belt you want. So I think that's about all for today. Leave me any questions or comments uh, below. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, review videos from me. Thanks.